Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a new Windows host file if your host file is missing or perhaps corrupted. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in folder options. Best match should say file explorer options directly above control panel. You want to left click on that one time. So now underneath File Explorer Options, you want to left click on the View tab. And then underneath Hidden Files and Folders, left click on Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Once you've selected that, click on Apply and OK. And once you've done that, we're going to open up the Start menu. Type in This PC. Best match should see this PC right above Desktop App. Left click on that. Underneath Devices and Drives, open up the local disk right here, so C Drive. Now you want to go to the Windows folder, so double click on Windows. And now scroll down until you get to System32, double click. And now you want to double click on Drivers. The Drivers folder should be lowercase d here. Double click. And now there should be a folder that says ETC. You want to open that up. You want to right click on the host file, left click on Copy. And now you want to paste it to the desktop by right clicking and then pasting it anywhere on the desktop minimize out of there. Now we're going to double click on the host file and you want to open it with notepad and then click on OK. Now I have something pasted in the description of the video right here, this untitled notepad file. I want you to copy this whole thing like you would normally. Make sure you don't pick up any parts of my actual description of the video. You just want to pick up what you see on the screen right here. So right click, copy, and then you want to basically paste it in to the host file right here, or the one that we just opened up on our desktop, I should say, because this is technically a copy of the one we have in our System32 folder. So we're going to paste it in. So paste it or delete the original one, and then paste in the new text, basically. Once you've done that, click on File and then Save. Close out of here. And now we're going to open up our ETC folder again. You want to drag the host file that we just edited by left clicking and holding down and dragging it over to this folder here. Replace the file in the destination. You will need administrative permission, so select continue. And then at this point, you should be good. Restart your computer. And I hope this problem has been resolved for you guys and you have resolved your host file issues. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope I was able to help you guys out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.